Hello everybody, this is Hoopermation here, and I am back with another video about Ubisoft. And... Uh, the proverbial hole that Ubisoft is currently digging themselves. Now, my last video, we talked about the Watch Dogs port, and how not so great it was. Because it wasn't that great. It was pretty bad. Well, recently, Ubisoft has stated that Far Cry 4, a new game, is going to be playing at equivalent to ultra-high settings on PC on the console, as in the, like I said, the console versions will be playing at what would be considered ultra-high settings on PC. Now, I don't know what to make out of that. That doesn't sound right at all, because, frankly, ultra-high on PC should always, always, always be better than on console, and... The fact that they're trying to achieve console parity with a game like Far Cry is ridiculous. And I hope they don't pull another Watch Dogs with it. Because I really like Far Cry. I loved Far Cry 3. It's awesome. And my computer still can't play that on high. On absolute highest settings. I mean, it's, it still plays it on fairly high settings. So, only with like a couple ones. But whatever. Um, next thing... That Ubisoft is dipping their nose in. Well, they have commented on the allegations of the PC version of Watch Dogs being purposely downgraded, and but them leaving the settings in the actual game. And here is their direct statement. The dev team is completely dedicated to getting the most out of each platform. So the notion that we would actively downgrade quality is contrary to everything we've set out to achieve. We test and optimize our games for each platform on which they're released, striving for the best possible quality. The PC version does indeed contain some old, unused render settings that were deactivated for a variety of reasons, including possible impacts on visual fidelity, stability, performance, and overall gameplay quality. Modders are usually creative and passionate players, and while we appreciate their enthusiasm, the mod in question, which uses those old settings and is not actually a mod, subjectively enhances the game's visual fidelity in certain situations, but also can also have various negative impacts. Those could range from performance issues to difficulty in reading the environment in order to appreciate the gameplay, to potentially making the game less enjoyable or even unstable. Thanks for playing Watch Dogs and believing in our vision. Stay safe on the mean streets of Chicago. <sighs> oh boy. Um, there's a couple things in this statement that I don't agree with and that I don't like at all. Mainly them saying that the impacts visual fidelity, stability, performance, and overall gameplay quality. This non-mod actually improves all four of those. <laughs> it, it makes the game look like it should. It's, my game's a lot more stable, and many other people have reported the same thing. They have a lot better performance and frame rate, and it just makes them want to play it more. It makes me want to play it more. So, I thought that was, I thought that was frankly bullshit. And, also them calling it a mod. I, in my last video, I called it a mod, and I am, I'm sorry. <laughs> That was wrong, because it's not a mod. A mod actually adds something to a core game, or the the game's core, I guess. But this just kind of dug up what was already there, you know. So I'm not I'm I'm not gonna call it a mod. I'm gonna call it a non-mod. They also say that it'll make it difficult to read the environment in order to appreciate the gameplay. What happens when you play a game? You are interacting with it. You're using all the tools and stuff and movement, all the things you can do to interact in a virtual environment. And when that virtual environment doesn't look good, yes, you're going to focus on the gameplay, but in 2014, you want the game to look good to complement the good gameplay. And I think Watch Dogs has great gameplay, but the bad, dra the bad graphics actually broke away from the gameplay, I think. I think it kind of severed that tie that should be there. But, apparently, they don't think so. So, uh, Ubisoft, I don't know what the fuck you're doing right now,
But you gotta stop. Seriously. Stop. Thank you.